In this video, I'm going to be casting my usual critical eye over the Crown Store offerings for the month of January in the online game Elder Scrolls Online. My name's Inwells, and welcome to the InCrowd. At the end of this video, I am going to be telling you about the thing that I am so much looking forward to, um, to buy from the Crown Store. I might even have to spend some real money in order to get it. Until then, please enjoy the video. And if you do, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I will really appreciate it. Not only are you supporting the channel, but you're also contributing to my dream. First up, Evolving your Indric mounts. Now, please remember if you haven't got your Indric mount yet, you can still collect your tickets throughout future events, but there will be the option to collect not only tickets, but also berries. And these berries you'll be able to use to morph or evolve your Indric mount into four new um, different designs. Now, please remember that I have checked on the ESO Reddit and once you've morphed your Indrik, you will not be able to go back. So the best way and the way that I'm planning on doing it is to actually get four Indrik mounts and morph all four of them as I collect my berries. The first event will be the Mid-Year Mayhem event starting in January when you will be able to collect the Dawnwood Berries of Bloom. Further on in the year, we'll have the Morrowind Celebration, Dawnwood ber Berries of Budding, Thieves, and Gil Thieves Guild and the Brotherhood Celebration, where you'll be able to collect Dawnwood Berries of Growth, and finally the Jester Festival, where you'll be able to collect your Dawn Dawnwood Berries of Ripeness. Please remember the Empresario is only available throughout, throughout each of these events. I am so pleased that I kept my dailies going in the last event over Christmas right the way up to the last moment. So hopefully I am well set to get another in Indric mount as I collect the new berries. Next up, what about ESO Plus special offers? What do we have installed for this month? Well, starting off, we have our freebie, which will be the Clavicus Vile Statue. Yeah, you can see it over there. It comes with its lovely little puppy that we, or should I say dog, that we've interacted in various um, parts of the storyline. Also, there are some tunics, which I must admit, I'm not a greatest fan of, but I su suppose if you want to hang out in Merkmire, then they'll certainly look absolutely fantastic. And no, another swamp jelly. You know, I was so pleased when I got Mr. Wibbly Wobbly um, later on that. I'm a bit bored of swamp jellies, but anyway, last month you can get a green one, I think. This month, you've got a plum one, although it does look a bit pinkish to me. But if you are a swamp jelly collector, then you're going to love it. Next up, the Blood Spawn Arms Pack. Yes, I'm always saying that I'm going to buy these and I never do. I'm just not into crafting at the moment. Although I'm sure once I'm completely saturated um, with all my new characters, then this will be something I move on to. I've even downloaded the Master Merchant add-on to start getting involving, involved with some trading and hopefully some vendor action. Anyway, it looks okay. The only thing that really excites me is that it has a what looks like a huge shield. Now, I'm a great shield fan, and the bigger, the better. And this one looks huge. Now, you might have got the Priestess of Mara outfit. Well, there's a new noble pack on its way. The Nebanese or Nebanese Ma um, noble pack. Now, I'm not too sure this will suit all my male characters. Although, if I had a choice between this and the aforementioned tunics, then tunics will definitely win. Hats. Mm, not a great lover of them tend not to wear my headgear gear a lot of the time, choosing the option to remove it. There's some lovely crowns available, which I'm not very keen on at all. And a hat that looks a bit like a skinned wolf. 
no thank you, I'm not going there at all. But there is a rather nice bondage, bonding right vestment, yeah. It makes me actually wish that I had created some characters with more defined six or eight packs because this looks, this costume looks very revealing in the mid section. Hmm, they would show, certainly show off those six packs if I had one. On to mounts. Now, as you know, I'm a gua sort of guy, but after getting the bear lizard for my birthday, well, from a crate in, on my birthday, you can see the video of my excitement as it arrived, I started to quite like some of the bears. Don't worry, I am not going to move away from my guas, but this new polar bear reminds me of the bear from the Golden Compass films, if you've seen it, and I might even be a uh, be tempted to expand my mount collection to include some bears. But don't worry, guas, I'm not giving up on you, and I'm certainly not getting into horses. Riding around on an Aslan mount? Nah, it's not my thing. And on to pets. No, you will not find me having a polar bear cub running after me. Although I do wonder how long it will be until we see bear wardens with their grey slate bear riding on a polar bear with a polar bear cub running alongside them. It does help me with my OCD and getting everything to match. But... I'm going to try to resist it. And if you were kind enough to do some gifting to some other players during the month of December, then January is the month that you will be getting your Griffin pet. I did think that this could only be gained from gifting, so I went away and gifted the suitable amount of crowns. I think it was a minimum of two lots of 1,000. Anyway, it would appear that you will be actually be able to buy this pet in the crown store. I'm just hoping that it's going to be a little bit more than two lots of 1,000. Otherwise, there might be some rather disgruntled people about. Christmas, it appears, is about giving, apart from when there are crowns and a new pet involved. And finally, the moment that you've all been waiting for, and I certainly have, great news, the Merc My House will be available from the 17th to the 30th of January. I have been waiting for this ever since I first saw it while I was exploring um, Merc My when the expansion came out. I've been saving up and wanting this house for ages. I've got 8,000 crowns saved up and I just hope that I can make the rest of the money by actually doing some payment of real cash to buy this before the time uh, for or purchase ends. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that wonderful underwater window? It looks absolutely fantastic. Your opinion, what will you be buying? What are you saving up for? Do you have the same passion for that Merc My House as I do? Well, as always, please let me know in the comments down below. Until then, please consider liking, comment or subscribing to this channel. It really helps me and it also contributes towards my dream. Until next time, I would just like to say to each and every one of you, please remember to be who you are and say what you think because the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun and I will catch you all later. And until then, happy ESOing. See ya. Bye.